Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode 13 of Origami 2, where fate brings us together once again. We are here again once again, 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 today, to carry on with our journey and hop into the next mission. So, in the last one, uh, we honestly don't even remember, but it, there, there was some, uh, we got some strategic info or something like that from the Akachi. Um, so now in this one, we're doing a rescue for the Akachi. So I am slightly confused as to what a rescue for Akachi might be. Are we rescuing them or we're rescuing someone from them? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, uh, what this mission entails. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it and uh, get things going. So we're going to an isolated village, a brand new location, uh, as a matter of fact, for this one. So this should be interesting. Akai, Akachi's leader, has asked for a rescue under the impression that we are a bunch of mercenaries. Rescue the target and find out who they are. Oh, so we're, we're doing like double agent type stuff here. So they don't realize that our ultimate goal is to bring them down. They think that we're just kind of doing work for whoever, whenever, wherever, just to get paid. I see. That's pretty neat, actually. It's cool indeed. All right, let's do this. So if I'm not mistaken... We should not be familiar with this area at all whatsoever. Be completely fresh and new to us. So we're going to go down here to store things off. That is a big ledge. I bet there's... Wait! Oh my god! If you guys don't realize or recognize, this is the tutorial area. Oh my word. Yeah, so in the tutorial, you uh, you come in from this way. Look at that. I wonder if there's something over here. Maybe a collectible or something to find. I was always curious when we were eventually going to come back to this uh, spot. Oh, and behold, here it is. See, this is cool. It's so nostalgic. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a schematic up there. Looks like we reached that from somewhere else, though, but look at that. You guys can't tell me that this uh, this upgrade point was not worth it for the, uh, for the whole being able to see stuff thing. Super useful. Anyways, I just wanted to point that out, that this is the tutorial area, and I kind of wanted to go uh, scope it out real quick. That is indeed cool. So if we come up here... And I remember, like, we didn't kill anyone back in this time either. We were, we were just, uh, stealth boys at that time. We were, we were avoiding everyone at all costs. All that good stuff. I wonder if this guy will get close enough. We can make him get close enough. Here, boy. First body safe and sound inside. Oh my. Yeah, I was... I was not expecting there to... Wait. Oh, I didn't realize it goes slow-mo when you go in here. That's sick. Day I learned. Nice. But uh, I was going to say, I didn't realize it goes slow-mo when you go into the thing like that. It's pretty neat. Like we got some gold back here. I think up here, just me surfing on a mountain. That's all. Doesn't look like you really have anything going on over there. There is indeed some stuff up this direction, though. No! 
What the heck was that? Okay. There's the schematic. What is this area? Oh boy. We're already expanding into uncharted territories for myself. You got clabbered. I feel like I'm getting really ahead of myself going this way. I want to grab that schematic. Ooh, sword and the skeleton right there. to prevent myself from taking any fall damage there all right what do we got legacy trousers interesting okay 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 question is how does one get back up assuming i can jump to that i'm kind of scared to try and jump to that but uh okay. sometimes you just gotta believe and trust Like, it's funny because that dude, he basically caught a clue, right? He turned around and looked straight at us. And got alerted from the blood smoke, but then he just got alerted the opposite direction for no apparent reason. Just let us really roll up and do that to him. I mean, I think I was invisible still anyways, even if he was looking at us. And I could have rolled and like did a quick execution on him before he have really done anything to uh what do i do here wait for that guy to turn around because they always turn around yeah oh so that gate goes that way okay i see and that goes that way yeah so this we are familiar with. Familiar with indeed. Where'd your boy go? Like, well, I'm actually, I'm not sure. I forgot I had a boy. Question is, can I pick? Oh God. Let's say, can I pick up and move bodies while I'm in blood smoke to get them like out of plain sight? Because that would be sick. I think I can. It makes me invisible, but it does not make the other people invisible. So, subject to change potentially, depending. See that while he's behind the cart? Probably my best bet. And it was a pretty good bet, because it worked pretty well. So my question is, which direction are we actually going to be going here? Are we going... Well, I think this answers my question. I don't think we're going this way, guys. Looks like we're taking a new route through here. <laughs> Man, it's just... It really is deja vu. Back, at, back in this time when we were doing the tutorial through here, I was speaking things into existence about then. And uh, here we are doing it once again on our second time through this section. But it is not our second time through this section because we are going a different route through this section. I love that when you do the dodges and stuff, it's actually like a teleport. You're a lot safer than you might imagine initially when you're doing it. Let's put that guy down here. Come on down, boy. Hey, hey. Whoa. What do you mean? 
How's he gonna see us? I'm crouching in the fucking what? Bullshit. All right. What was that? That was trash. Okay, we kind of we kind of ripped on that fool though. He clappered. Dude. I'm really I would have I would have gotten kind of nervous if this dude actually aggressed and approached us all the way over there while we were 1v1ing. But I'm glad he didn't. But still, how did that dude even recognize us right here? I thought I was supposed to be just completely safe when I was in here regardless. It's kind of maybe because he was suspicious. Maybe if someone's suspicious, you can still be seen inside that stuff. I'll have to keep that in mind going forward. Still, that wasn't too much of a big deal. Didn't end up being a very big detriment in any way to us. I'll take it. People like with this, ain't no way that mo truck is gonna see me. Once again, the blood smoke being trash right there. It's like a 50 50. I don't know. Am I supposed to crouch inside of it or what? I will find you. His biggest mistake. He turned around. Womp womp womp. Of course, we just got temperamental Terry over here with the fucking firebombs just chucking him at everything and anything. As I said, those guys really do make wonderful pyromaniacs. Because they can't even control their own urges to just can chuck them everywhere, bro. That guy will never be found. At least not anywhere in close uh, proximity to where he died. Feel bad for his family. Or do I? He's just a temperamental Terry. So this, yeah, this is where we came up. The other side. Uh -huh. Dude, be quiet. Don't make such a loud noise as you're getting murdered, bro. He's like, oh. Once again, I, I don't understand the blood smoke. Keep 
baited nerd. Dude, that's actually, that's a sick strat when you're detected, just like run into a random corner that you can like climb up or something and crouch and... Bro, you can actually bamboozle these fools so hard. It's like, in a sense, they actually have kind of realistic detection because when they're chasing you, it's like as soon as they lose visual sight of you, um, they genuinely become confused and you can like quickly just pull a fast one on them out of stealth or out of nowhere. Pretty sweet. Bam! Got him, boyo. Ooh. Oh, I just realized you could break through that stuff. Interesting. Ever since I've gotten this ability, it's really putting in work, man. Putting in big work, baby. Grab the gold, please. Hello? Dude, what? The scuffed. Watch me grab it from this side. Uh, okay. I'm actually getting scammed. There we go. Jesus. I had to shove my lips into it. Good lord. I don't like how this, like, intense music's still going. Actually, this is the music of me being detected, but this music... I'm definitely not detected at the current moment. So I don't believe so. Alright, let's go back this direction real quick. I think I covered everything right here in this zone. Now this goes off that way. Alright, we got Fireball Joe up there. Question it. Can I make it up there? Woo! I assassinated him while standing straight up. It's a new guy vanishing. So they think the new guy just vanished because he wasn't happy with his job, huh? I have reason to believe there's different issues at hand. I like how that dude straight up said, I can't leave my post. That's cool. I genuinely enjoyed the fact that he said that right there. Eat. For the sake of, I think it can go really south here really quickly with how many guys are in close proximity to one another. I'm going to get all the stragglers before I attempt to take the two guys face to face. Ching ching. <laughs> you should check that out, bro. 
What's the worst that could happen? Your utter demise. Eat. Uh, I probably should have saved my blood smoke for the situation where there's two guys face to face, but take that. I like how he's alerted because there's a blade going through his heart at that current moment. Can I actually get that guy to walk away now? I can. Hope. How did I think this through much further past here? It worked. All right. Thank God. I didn't quite get the execution off while I was in the air right there, but I landed like a cat right there. Just so flawlessly, just meow, stuck that landing. Ooh, wait, there's a collectible. Oh. Man, they're just hooking it up right here. I didn't check to see how many collectibles there were in this area, but I got one schematic and two statues. That might be everything. What is happening? Please let me, dude, please let me out of here. <gasps> Bro, help. I'm trapped. Dude. Actually trapped. Yoink. We're ninjas. We're never trapped. That was pretty annoying though. I don't think that was intended to be like that. I didn't even check to see if there are any more guys in close proximity to him. I just knew I kind of wanted to rip him. Reach the area, contact the target. Well, hopefully that wasn't our target. You just got wrapped. Nice bamboo you got right there, bro. We'll let it slide. This looks like another exit. Have this whole area going on here. I'm a little closer. Oh, what the? Toss that shit, yeah. So I'm assuming this is an edge here. It's up here, anything? There's another schematic. But I think it's outside of obtainable area? Hmm. We'll have to go the other way and check for that. Or not. So where the f do I get that from? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. I think that schematic's literally in like a completely different area that we can't get to yet. Well, I mean, can't get to it, but you know. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think that's the other half of the tutorial area. If I'm not mistaken.
Ah, uh, yeah, this, that's like near the prologue mission. Dude, I was so close to finding something right at the beginning of the game. This is the first part where it actually gives you freedom to uh, like fight the way you want to fight to get through it. Oh yeah, because, oh, because you come up this way, that, I remember that was blocked off and you just go up this staircase and this is where you get the cutscene, right up here, the beginning. Ew. Look at that. See, that's that's what's kind of cool about this is like how the areas sort of tie together in some spots, but not in others. It's uh, it's neat because you can recognize where you have been and what's new, and it's uh, it's cool. How everything ties together like that. That is interesting indeed. There's a schematic over there. All right, let's hop up. Oh, we actually have free reign over this this time. Okay, interesting. Can't do anything with that scroll. Who are we coming into contact with here? I'm curious about. How far does this go? It's probably just like a surrounding area. Uh, yeah, so now we're way up above the opposite side of the tutorial or the prologue I should say that's where we freaking Tony Hawk grinded that body over there What the f oh hell yeah It's all coming back man Seems like there's no more enemies. I think we've slayed out. Now we're just meeting up with the our special person. It's a lady. Hey, hey. Now, was this not the woman that was projected to be dying in that cutscene, or what? <gasps> Actually, a cutscene. Huh. <laughs> Hubba hubba. Tarawa Aragami. Call this Aragami? Ah! Dude. Alright, that mission was sick. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, 38 hostiles, no unconscious, no alive, all dead. All hostiles ripped. Let's go. Uh, we got discovered a few times, but that was it. If we didn't get discovered, that would have been a clean mission. Probably an S rank, to be completely honest. We almost got all our gold. We got like 570 total, though, from that. We got some legacy trouser blueprints that we found. And we got all the collectibles. Love it. So something tells me this woman has much importance. Much more so compared to some of the others, perhaps. Wait. <gasps> what? You can do the ability tree from here? Also, chapter two complete. Let's go. Dude, since when could you do the ability tree from here? Oh my god, bro. Oh, no freak. That's insane. What the heck, bro? Honestly, this is this would probably be really helpful for us, but I'm I'm all about these cool abilities more so. We're gonna we're gonna get the wraith next, so we don't have enough abilities for that. But since when was there a tree you could just grab from there, dude? What? Crazy. Wait, Katashi's over there. Oh, whoops. Oh well. 
Let's uh let's talk to our vendors real quick, see what's going on. Um new equipment, we got some new trousers. So we got the legacy trousers. Oh. Those are kind of sick actually. Those are clean. Yeah, so they're kind of like a they're kind of like a slightly nicer version of the Shadow trousers. Those are cool. Huh. So far, I like all the uh, freedom and options in this game. And he still just has these dyes, which I don't want to spend on yet. Dude, we're at 23 hundo, baby. Only 1,200 to go, I believe. Only 1,200 to go for the, um, you know. Let's see, there's also an exclamation point up there, which means I think they have some gold for us. So we'll be sure to uh, talk to that. Right, I think it's the Cronist who's got the exclamation point. He does. Kazu? What do I think about telling made up facts? I think the words must have a specific purpose. Fairy tales are such a waste of time. Hmm. Who is interested in such a thing? I am interested in the gold. Thank you very much, bro. See ya. All right, Katashi, where you at? <gasps> the door. Oh, no. Bro, if this opens up and there's a whole new valley or something, I'm going to be blown away. Shortly after settling here, the curse took one of us. He stopped being able to talk and move and ended up forgetting who he was. He was still as a statue. We thought he would never move again, but suddenly he was possessed by a supernatural fury. We managed to contain him and lock him in this grotto. Oh. We call it the Funerary Grotto. Others have followed his path since then. Too many. So people go mad with like the endless lives or whatever. There is no living being that can resist the soul Og forever. Aragami Villagi. Aragami are incomplete beings. Your fragmented souls crave to be whole again. Lady Miyoshi, by the way, is her name. How do you know so much? People know me as Lady Miyoshi, and I come from a lineage of life essence priests. I devoted my whole life to healing the sick, but my knowledge has its limits. My father and I were captured by Akachchi and forced to research on you. But then there was an accident. My father died and I was wounded. I did manage to escape though. I think that's the prologue. She was from the prologue. Her dad saved her in the end. I'm afraid Akachchi is forming an army of Aragami. What? Akachchi priests can control certain Aragami as if they were puppets. So they did this to us? Akachchi turned us into Aragami? Uh, I don't think so. A large-scale sealing technique is not something a regular human being can do. The legends of Rashomon Valley talk about a lost town. I'm afraid your origins date back to a different time. Aragami, if you want to get your humanity back, you need to complete your souls first. Only then will you stop your soul age, or Og. I wonder what it is. I, I like saying Og. It sounds more elegant. Learn more about your origins. Maybe that can help you find your souls. Taza. Thank you for your words, Lady Miyoshi. They are a ray of hope for our destiny. It would be our pleasure if you stayed with us. You can stay in the sanctuary. You will be at ease there. Hey, Lady Lady Miyoshi, if you're uh, ever feeling lonely, I have a nice home that you could stay within as well. 
Oreo, complete some requests. In the meantime, we will look for clues about our past. Embers. Damn, son. Okay. That was a that was a big boy mission right there. We we finished the second chapter of the game and learned a lot more uh interesting and in-depth info on uh, on our characters and stuff. So uh, it looks like in the next one we actually have two missions to uphold. Uh, next time we get around to it so maybe we can actually get two done in one we'll uh we'll attempt to try and do two missions in a single episode because the single the single mission per episode is a long format for seemingly how long this game is going to be but what, what can i say man the missions are long they're long missions like sheesh Anywho, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, like I said, a groundbreaking episode. We completed Chapter 2 here, and we found Lady Miyoshi, who has disclosed some very interesting information about us origami characters. So uh, we'll have to pick up the story narrative where we left off next time, and we have some brand new missions and tasks to begin the Embers storyline going forward. So uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode. And if you're enjoying the content as a whole on the channel, make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on notifications for brand new live updates when new videos come out. But that is all for now, everybody. So uh, have a wonderful rest of your day and or night, wherever you guys may be. Stay gaming. Stay absolutely mad, all of you lads and lasses. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.